Panteros. Fuck the idol. Fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. Like this whole jumping forward is I hate this this uh trope in movies and TV shows. You'll, you'll buy my boss for 800. It's, I don't think my boss is worth 800 V-Bucks in Fortnite. Maybe like 200 V-Bucks. Maybe I'm being generous. What is the internet going out on this thing? Let's see what's up, Eric. How you doing? Let's see. So far, it's a fun game. Okay. Yeah, I just I, I tweaked her a little bit, but for most part she is she is the subtle. Okay. Oh, she's dead. Okay, game one. Okay, well that was a fun game. Spoilers. I, I guess she dead. Rip. The end. Uh, Tay Daniel, what's up, Tay? Uh, blue ice, hello, blue ice. Kiedrin, hi, Kiedrin. How y'all doing? See, Curse says uh, it's buggy mess. Feels like Centro. My expect my expectations for this game were a uh, complete nightmare, but only half a nightmare. I guess that's what happens when we have our expectations low, right? So, uh, that, that's the end of the game. Okay, so the game's already over. The, the boss is dead. And, uh, okay, well, I, I give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> I failed in the tutorial. We're off to a great start today. Oh yeah, Land my other left. Contact with the enemy. My bad. Might be your last day at this point. Black soldiers, Charlie team is here. Get back and let us wrap this up. Nice timing, right. gang. Am I, am I down? I, I got knocked down again. I am trash. Right, just crouch, just crouch, crouch. Just what? I I died again. Yeah, the graphics are quite dated. <laughs> I can't even get past the tutorial. My first introduction to Saints Row was the third, where you know they, they put on Johnny Gack masks and they start rob they rob a bank, like just just for fun. I think it was the Syndicate's bank that they were robbing, but they were doing it for publicity or some shit. See, that was fun. Like that was a great way to introduce you to the Saints in Saints Row the Third. Like this this is just kind of meh. This is like they're trying, but it's just not as good. But Saints Row the Third is good. I know a lot of people are like, no, it's not as good as Saints Row 1 or 2, but like that's not my first Saints Row game. So. But I have played a little bit of Saints Row 2 briefly. And I'm, I'm not going to argue if anyone that says it's the best one, because... I mean, I, I think there's things about it from what I've seen from pro play it and a few others play Saints Row 2 over the years. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some elements that I thought were really good in Saints Row 2. See, that's one thing that shocks me is why didn't they just, like, take the best elements of Saints Row 2 and the third and combine them together for this, you know? I get, get, I get you know, going away from the superhero stuff. That's fine. But you, you have previous games that people loved and enjoyed. And all they had to do was say, okay, what, what worked when it came to Saints Row 2 that people really liked? And what worked with Saints Row the 3rd? And, and find a good combination, you know? That way, it feels like something in the middle. You know, a little bit of Saints Row 2, a little bit of Saints Row the 3rd. Kind of a happy medium. Oh, well, at least I didn't die. For the moment, I thought there was going to be like a mission fail cutscene again. Yeah, I agree. 4 even has a, like a more epic like action movie like intro, even though it's ridiculous. 
It is a ridiculous intro, but it's it's still at least better. Ow, my my hand. How can I game if you smash my hand? Am I? MVP, Zoomer cringe in this game is beyond pathetic. Devs pretty much stated who the target audience was. Uh, Danushka, I think Cyberpunk is, is better than this. At least at least CG Project Red has, has done some really good updates to, to Cyberpunk. And like see like Carrick was talking about one of his videos earlier today. It's like, you know, CD Project Red's like Cyberpunk game was a lot more ambitious. It was like way more ambitious than this game. Fall in line? What the fuck? No, what the actual fuck? All right, let's go for a little what drive. What the actual goddamn fuck? I'm guessing there's supposed to be a song playing here. What the actual goddamn motherfucking goddamn fuck? Yeah, this. I think some of you probably already heard this dialogue. It's been a. Uh, Shared across social media. Crap. crap, crap, crap. Yeah, this is some great dialogue here. Crap, crap, shit, crap, goddamn fucking shit, crap, crap, son of a bitch ass, white piss, wife, crap, 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 and crap. Like, somebody wrote this, and then somebody approved this dialogue for the game. <sighs> Fall in line. <laughs> like, you couldn't come up with anything, like, hey, you know. Well, that freaking sucked. I hate working at this company. They suck. I gotta find a better job. I'd rather go back to waiting tables or just do something else besides saying crap, crap, crap. Or like, throwing, this is a good time to throw in some backstory here about the character. Like, I should have stayed in school or I should have done this in my life. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, I nearly got killed out there. I put my life on the line. See, Kari says, uh, male character dialogue isn't better. I don't, I wouldn't consider it to be at the moment. I mean, I'm sure there's some woke stuff in here, MVP. That's to be expected. But at, at least better writing. Like, just a little bit better writing, please. A little bit better dialogue. I mean, for one for one thing, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm like, I don't really care for woke stuff, and I'm not really into the whole anti-woke movement either. I just, why can't we all just get along? I know, I know, I'm asking too much. I don't really worry for GTA 6 at the moment. If this if this is the best that... Oh, they're stuck now. They can't back out. Look at them. They're supposed to turn around, but they can't because I parked the car right there. I kind of screwed them. <laughs> oh, and I can't get out of the car to move it. Oof. Oh, the, the driving kind of sucks. I can't, I can't get out of the damn car to... They're, they're trapped. <laughs> I trapped him. <laughs> yeah, why the Saints Row character doesn't drink soy latte instead of criticizing the waffle? Gang of murders take a care. Of, yeah, it's it's very nice. You know, they care about uh the the the, the planet and stuff. They seem like Dollar Tree versions of Gat Shandy. Yeah, Gat Shandy and Pierce were way better characters. Yeah. All right, let's not get into the whole woke versus anti-woke debate here, guys. Let's not go there. Let's just can we all just agree that the that the writing in this game sucks? I think we can all agree with that. Whatever that whatever their attempted message is, it's it's mission fail. All right. There. Okay. All right, well at least I can do that, even though theoretically I shouldn't be able to. All right. <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? Game over, man. Yeah. Well, thanks thanks for the uh, advice, Max. Like you think that a car in park, like you think this little thing wouldn't be able to push that car. Yeah. Like like I said, Red, the we can all agree that the audio that the dialogue is terrible and the writing could be way better. 
This thing is supposed to sli slide swipe a, a squad car? How? How is this little thing supposed to do that? Like this, this thing couldn't slide, slide swipe shit. How? How can this do this to a squad car? That's, that's ridiculous. It, it's caught on fire? What? How? How is that even possible? Like, this thing is no match to a police squad car. Look, in real life, you try and take one of these up against a standard cop cruiser, guess what? It's not going to end well for you. I mean, I don't know why people make such a big deal about a female protagonist. Female protagonists can be written right. I mean, yeah, there is the risk of Mary Sue's, which I think most people don't want. But I don't have a problem with a female protagonist in a video game, TV show, or movie as long as it's as long as she's written right. See, Logic, what's up, Logic? I see lots of good games have uh, good female protagonists, Tomb Raider, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy. Yeah. This really doesn't feel much different than than the other cars I've been driving. I mean, it looks different. But does it actually... Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's see. What's up, Brian? Are you kidding me? Well, this looks great. Is this supposed to be a sandstorm? This looks awful. God, look at this. Look at this sandstorm. Ah, oh, it looks awful. It looks like an Instagram filter. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Right, so we gotta go find a hammerhead, which is, well, isn't that a hammerhead right there, literally? Well, that makes life easy. How do cops just show up right there? That's just, that's just dumb. It's a fucking sandstorm. They wouldn't have saw me do that in the amount of time I stole a fucking. I mean, you're a fucking car, cops. Mine now. Are you kidding me? It's a fucking sandstorm. I literally just jumped in the car and two cop cars just jumped me. They could have even saw me steal the fucking car. Even if they were driving by, they wouldn't have fucking noticed in this awful sandstorm. Like, what the? I can't even drive in this shit. How, how, what kind of vision do these asshole driver cops have? You're telling me that in this mess, they saw me steal a car. They would have been literally like right beside me to see me do that. Oh, this looks awful. Yeah, the Sandstorm of Red Dead Redemption 2 out in New Austin is really good. Like, yeah, the like when you go out to New Austin in the epilogue with John, like the Sandstorm looks amazing in New Austin. Why do devs think it's a good idea to do stuff like this? This is not enjoyable for the gamer. Yeah, Skybox is okay. I've seen, I, I, I don't know. I think it's about on par with Red Dead Redemption 1 Skybox. What do y'all think? Yeah, it's not special. I mean, at least it's not Mafia 3 Skybox, so there's that. Look, I'm trying to find compliments here, okay? I'm trying to find ways to compliment the game. I do, I do like the ability to roll, so that's something I appreciate, because I do like rolling. This is just a missed opportunity by Volition to come out with a, a legit competitor to GTA. Because we definitely need a com like an open world crime game that gives GTA a run for its money. Yeah, the, the cop car looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, yeah, we'll give them that. Look, we're, we're trying to compliment the game here. We're trying to think of some pros. Stop taking selfies, you idiots. This is pretty much this game. Wallow in your own failure. Basically, that's what this game is. <laughs> this, this, this entire scene right here is basically this game. Yep. 
Nope, no food. A frozen waffle? Why would it just be laying it in the freezer like that? That makes no freaking sense. Toast your lonely waffle. This is fun. This this is great gameplay. This is amazing. Easily easily an eleven out of ten right here. That's how I feel about this game. This is like some fourth wall shit here. Oh, just just pick it up. Five second rule. I know, Red. Like, what the fuck is this mission? I don't care. I'm skipping. Fuck this. I don't care. I'm skipping. Fuck this. Nope. I'm hustling away from all this. Goodbye. I don't care. I'm not fighting the idols again. Fuck off, game. Nope. I'm gone. I'm out of here. See you later. Yeah, I'm done. I can't handle... I don't care. I don't give a shit if they're in trouble. I don't care. Okay. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I was just going to go explore the fucking map after the stupid firing mission was over. That's all I was going to do is go explore the dumb map and look at this world. I don't care. How did she jump into my car? She wasn't even with me. I don't care. Let them save themselves. I don't care. I did. Why can't I have a chill break after that stupid mission? I just want a chill break. I don't want to go do another fucking mission right now. Like, no, fuck you. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm just leaving. Goodbye. I'm going to go to the edge of the map and, and get out of here. I, I regret not getting a refund. Go away. Fuck off. I don't care. Game. Like, after a mission like that, like, there should not be, like, another mission that mandatorily starts up. I don't care. Good. I don't care. You're two on your own. I'm out of here. I'm going somewhere else. Goodbye. You're doing great, Eli. Stay no, we're not. I'm leaving. Yeah, I am hanging up. Goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're losing reception out here in the, in the desert. Bye. What game? Why do you force this mission on me after a, a, like another mission? At least allow some chill time. Good. World boundary. Good. I don't want to return. I'm, I'm leaving. No, don't do this to me. Fuck you. It would be one thing if I actually felt any emotional investment into the game at this point, but I have none. I have no emotional investment. That's the problem. You can do something like that if like the player is already invested in the game and the characters, but I'm, I'm not. Is it just me or is this game hurting anybody to watch? It's not like playing Red Dead, right? Where you're like, wow, this is a beautiful game. Or like Ghost of Tsushima. It's just like... Yeah. I, mean, I feel like I have a slight headache just looking at this world. I just feel nothing playing this game. I feel nothing. I feel no interest in the characters, no investment in wanting to save them or advance the story because the story itself is not very good. Like, here's the thing about Mafia 3, right? People criticize Mafia 3 because they feel like it's not an actual Mafia game. But at least it has a good story, you know, and an interesting protagonist and a great setting and a, and a fascinating city based off of New Orleans. I mean, yeah, that game had issues at launch too, but at least it had a good story and good characters, just like the previous two Mafia games. I mean, yeah, you weren't playing the typical, like, uh, Italian or Italian-American uh, protagonist, but I thought Lincoln Clay was a pretty good protagonist. And there's a lot of interesting things that happen in Mafia 3. I mean, yeah, some of the gameplay can be repetitive at times. But at least you had the characters. At least you had the story in the, in the setting of New Bordeaux, a.k.a. New Orleans. Like, this this is doesn't interest me. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Look, it's low-res cat. Guys, this is a little... God, this... 
Well, I even have the cat if you're going to... Graphically, look at it. It's clipping and stuff. It's awful looking. Look at this. Like, like that looks awful. Why, why even bother trying to, like, put a cat into the game if you can't even do it right? Like, that cat in Stray looks way better. Okay. I mean, look, look at the low res. I mean, look at this low res. And, and Riley and I were talking about this the other day. Like, with the helicopters, look at this. Doesn't this look awful? I mean, Red, you're a helicopter guy. The helicopter's just sitting there. Like, I'm not doing anything. Look, I'm not doing anything. My hands are not moving. It's just sitting there like it's stationary in air. It's not moving back and forth. Like, like the helicopters in GTA 5 and online, bear in mind, nearly a decade old game, are way better because they're actually moving and moving around and stuff like you would expect in real life. Like, look at this shit. I know this is ridiculous, Red. I mean, helicopters don't do this. Yeah, at least I gave the game a chance, Kari. But God, this is awful. I mean, it, like they don't even bother to program in like some sort of. It's like I'm falling a helicopter in space. Yeah, basically. So I'll move it a little bit and then it just does that. Yeah, helicopters always move around based on wind and other things. And Red knows this. He's a helicopter pilot in real life, so Red knows about this. And I, we've all played enough GTA to know how how the helicopters in GTA, for the most part, are a lot more realistic than this. And GTA 5 is a 2013 game. And the only reason why it's moving around right now is because I'm actually doing... See, this is what it should be doing in the game, right? Like, and that's because, only because I'm manually doing this with, with the left analog stick. It should be like, you're just doing a little bit of this, you know, just even if you have it steady, it should at least have some illusion, right? But when I, when I stop touching the helicopter, that's what happens. <laughs> Tesla doesn't have oxygen confirmed. Yeah, right. It's like flying in space. Yeah. 2022 game. Simple solution is to create some sort of, I guess, code for the game, right? Now, I'm not a developer, but if you at least had the helicopter doing this when it was stationary, doesn't that look like way more realistic to y'all? Doesn't that look realistic? Yeah, Jack, it's like no one tested this shit. Like, yeah, the helicopter is stationary. So why is not it at least pivot, you know, right and left a little? Because look at that. At least it looks like it's maybe not to the same degree as, say, GTA 5, but it's better than just this. Yeah, basically rushed and solace, I agree. And wait a minute. All right, do y'all see the do y'all see the mini map icon? Do y'all see this shit? What is what is the mini map icon right now? Is that a car? Shouldn't it be like a a helicopter icon? Like you were too lazy to create a helicopter icon or a plane icon for when you're not in a a car? This is lazy. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't show you where it should have. Like that mini -map, little mini map diamond should appear where your character happens to be on the map to give you like a waypoint where you are, and so it doesn't even do that. Are the reflections not, not really? I mean, look at this. Just, I, I, I don't really think there is reflections. Well, there's kind of reflections. I mean, you can kind of see a reflection, but it's, yeah, that's about it. Ha yeah, haters are gonna hate. You know, even though a lot of people that bought the game wanted the game to be good. Yeah, some 8-bit reflection, exactly. If you go outside the map and read that online, you may find similar graphics. <laughs> Plugging my outside the map guide. Yep, this is, this is a 2022 game, everybody. 2022 gaming right here. I mean, no wonder it's... Well, I mean, 60 bucks, I think, might be a little too generous for this. Yeah, they they are lazy, Jack. First, the defective edition. Now, uh, apparently, there's a they're actually working on a title update for uh, the defective edition. So it's been a few months since the last defect uh, title update. So maybe the new title update, whenever it comes out, which I will cover, might actually make a difference. Yeah, I'm playing on PS5. 
Let's see. Brick says, uh, I think the game could look as good as they promote it, but it's going to take updates. Maybe. Yeah, this, this is a real next-gen experience right here. I mean, look look at how amazing it looks graphically on the ground. I mean, that, that just looks great. Look at that draw distance. Oh, my God. This is god-awful. I mean, look at it. It's just disgusting. I think they didn't bother getting uh, any beta testers for this game because they did the beta. Yeah. It's like some of these companies, you really wonder, like, who the hell's doing the beta testing for them? It's like the, these Q, QA testers, a lot of them, I feel like they do low fucking effort. Or the beta testers do find issues, and then it's like the studio doesn't even listen to the feedback they get back from any of their beta testers or QA. When I go into an open world game, and I, it's either A, I'm like, wow, this world's amazing. I want to explore it. I want to be part of this world. I want to go look at everything about the world. I want to spend time in the world. But in this world, I don't. I just don't want to spend any more time here. Oh, we're at the boundary of the map. That's that's great. That's as far as I could go. Seriously? I want to, I want to go over there, though. <laughs> I'm always trying to get outside the map, aren't I? I just can't help it. I just think the desert was a bad idea. It was a bad choice. I think they should have just gone back to... Didn't like a new version of Stillwater. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not torturing myself. Forget it. If there was some fun to be had in this game, I'd, I'd keep going, but I'm just not enjoying it. Da, 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 da. I'm not loving it, Trevor. God, it just, it just looks awful. Look at this. Like, even in GTA, it looks way better going on a boat ride, like, off the, off the shore of Vespucci Beach and you see Los Santos. Los Santos looks better than this. Why, why does a 2013-year-old game look better? Well, the vehicles in GTA, they handle differently, and they handle way better than the vehicles in this game. I think the map of GTA Online is way bigger than this map. And at least the, the, the vehicles have a feel to them, you know? Like uh, sports cars, muscle cars, supercars, SUVs, off-road vehicles, motorcycles, they have a feel to them. And for the record, I don't enjoy hating a game. I want to like games. I want to enjoy games. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, Saints Row. I'm going to try to get a refund. I probably won't be able to. I tried, okay? I really did try. And to be honest, if I had a do-over, like from yesterday, it would be to go back and just request a refund before I even played the game. Look, Sinister, I wanted this game to be great too. You know, I had, I had low expectations. I wasn't exactly excited about it. This game was not fun to me. It wasn't fun. And I think, I think Kari's right. I think, like... Patches wouldn't really solve the core problems. But Saints Row really had a chance here to put out a good a good Saints Row game, right? With a two, three-year window before the next GTA game. And Volition, Deep Silver, you dropped the freaking ball.